Welcome back to Fresh. My name is Danielle Hayes. And I'm Sammy Sosa, and welcome to my world. Excuse him. Welcome back to my world. Welcome, welcome to, to our world. world. Fashion, <laughs> to me, is a form of expression. It's um, not just about the clothes. It's not just about the trends. It's not about what's on the catwalk in Paris, Milan. For me, it's more of an art. Basically saying something without actually speaking. Yeah. I'd say the same, but it's also a mood. <laughs> Some days you just want to wear trackies and a hoodie and like rug up and just be real lazy in what you wear. And then other days you want to be real chic and chuck on some heels and some real nice clothes and whatever and own it. What's up Freshies, my name is Sammy Salsa. I am a fashion stylist slash creative director here in Auckland, New Zealand. I make people look the bomb. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Danielle Hayes and I am, I guess, one of New Zealand's best models. <laughs> I'm from a little place called Kawaro, which is down in the Bay of Plenty. Eight, maybe nine years ago, I entered into a TV show called New Zealand's Next Top Model on a dare, and somehow, miraculously, I became the winner. <laughs> Jumping into heels and actually walking around in them and trying to get used to them. I'm just used to jandals. <laughs> Went overseas and worked really well internationally, walked for the likes of like Jean-Paul Gaultier, Marc Jacobs. When I first started modelling, there wasn't many Māori models to sort of look up to. I mean, there was Nahumea Williams. She's bomb, like, she's a sh Can I say the yeah. I can say the sh yeah. yeah. I remember watching Danielle on Top Model. She was serving face, she was serving attitude, she was, you know, real down to earth, real hoary. Still hoary, which is what we love about her and that's what makes her unique. I guess for me, in my career, when it came to taking fashion styling seriously and working for these big publications here in New Zealand, um, she was always in my head um, and I always wanted to style her for a shoot. One of my favorite ones was for Fashion Quarterly, where we shot um, up north. And when that came out, um, everyone was just like, what the hell? <laughs> oh, that's when you went blonde. That's when you went, that's when she shaved her head. She went platinum blonde. And some of the industry were just kind of like, yeah, how do we market this to middle class New Zealand? Don't want to offend in, anybody. Exactly, but... <laughs> in one of New Zealand's premium fashion magazines. And so that, that's one of my favorite ever shoots ever in my whole entire career. Yeah, it's up there with the many that I've done, but yeah, it's definitely up there. Good work, man. Thanks. Jean-Paul Gaultier who? <laughs> We're here at Thievery Studio getting ready for our fashion feature for Remix Magazine featuring the one and only Lady Six. My love of um, fashion came from my mum and dad. Their prime was the 80s, and so when I talk about my mum, you know, she was rocking like the the shoulder pads, the masculine blazers, the oversized pants. And then my dad, he was the total opposite. He was wearing like mesh crop tops. And here I am today, putting people in mesh crop tops and oversized blazers, just like my parents. It's really important for myself as a Pacifica individual, but also as a Pacifica creative, giving our ethnic models a platform to be able to be showcased to the rest of the world. But in saying that, like, you know, we had to work twice as hard, we still have to work twice as hard, but at the same time it's exciting for us because it challenges us, it pushes us to the edge. But we have to pave the way for anyone mm. coming after us, you know. <laughs> you want to be on top? <laughs> I don't think you'll go far if you're not yourself, especially in this industry, and people will either take you or they'll leave you. Follow our path, but don't get in our way. <laughs> and get our coffees, so flat whites. <laughs>